Coach, it is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Off the play fake. Franks. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. These guys hooking up right away here, Charles. Two plays, both passes in his direction, and both catches. And in our time together, have we not seen the tight end position continue to develop yep. in the passing game? You know, at some point, we may not call them tight ends anymore. We may have to come up with an entirely different way of designating that position of what they do on the field because when I hear tight end, I think of the old school, hand in the dirt, blocking on the line of scrimmage. These guys are much more receiver than they are guys who are going to move in the pass in the running game. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Ready, ready, ready. Brings up third and four. And come on out here. Come get some. From the gun on third down, Franks. Man open, it's Moss complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. On the ground, it's Harris. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Kick 
of 61. That's what he's saying. Go. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Let's go. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Operating from the gun, Franks. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away this one fielded at the five and he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 yard line Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22 Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jayon Brown. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Third and long, it's Allen. And that will be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now Brown. He belted that thing, a leg of steel and an even 70 yards on the punt that time. And the Patriots take over. Ready. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Franks, throw left side, complete to Moss. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. They've got a third down and five to start things out. And he's got a first down and then some in midfield. And finally brought down at the 38. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 38-yard line. This quarterback now 11 for 11. Perfect in this opening half. It's first and 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. Second and four. Buying time to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and one. That one complete to Yeldon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Franks, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there with his 19th touchdown, his second of the game. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. He'll have a first down past the 40, and he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now a handoff looking right. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Here's Allen to throw it. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. On first down, Franks looking for his running back, and he's got him. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And an alley to run! And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Back to throw. Franks looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moss. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 21 yards. This quarterback now, just one misfire so far after that last completion, 15 of 16. It's first down. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it a second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's the second and seven. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And to give this time to the tailback. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Franks, that'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. This way caught right around the six. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Operating from the gun, Franks. He gets it complete to Harris. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A bit of a surprise. They're going for it with two ticks remaining. No side of the field goal unit. A final shot before break. Franks. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. As time expires in the first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Dustin Hopkins set to kick off. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is. And they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. And this one caught by Beasley. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. 
Coming Good off job. the line, he's been wreaking havoc all year. And look, that's why, as a result, he's getting some looks for Defensive Player of the Year in the NFL. And I know that many people don't have him first on their list right now, but he deserves that type of consideration. You mentioned it. All year long, he's made big plays and continues to do so. Imagine if he has a big game here. If so, he can vault himself right into the number one spot. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. A very solid gain of 27. Three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. That is caught by Moss for a New England touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. On second and 12, Allen. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. First down, Buffalo. You better bring it. You better bring it. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On second down, Singletary. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Another example of just a dominant performance by this defense. Yeah, you hear all the time about teams that try to steal signals from the other side and try and learn their signs and their tendencies. It's almost like they get the answers to the exam the night before and were well prepared for this final. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. 
They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. Back now in Foxborough, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Harris starts the drive on the ground. Olivier Vernon brings him down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to throw. Franks into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Jenkins. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Allen now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. They'll give this to Singletary, running right. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Probably wishing that they could have had a few runs like that earlier in the game now facing this deficit in the fourth. Hard to criticize a run of that magnitude, but they really need those types of runs to go the distance and need bigger plays to try and get back into this one. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Here's Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They come out here in the eye. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Aaron Ripkowski. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills get a bit closer. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to 28-10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but 
The turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think that you might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before he trotted out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing these color shirts. Give it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let him go out there with a little bit more confidence. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On fourth down, Franks. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. It's our time, guys. It's our time. Allen now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. To throw on second and 10, Allen. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that. Then. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And that's caught by Beasley. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. On first down, Allen. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, yo. And here's Allen throwing again. It's complete to Hopkins. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards, the final tally. They don't need to run another play here before the 2-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. On second down now, Singletary. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen, and that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Tyler Croft, his third touchdown now on the year, and the Bills cut into that lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. On the 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Harris. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up free. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run with Harris. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Into the hands of his tight end, Jeff Swain. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. On first and ten, Franks flush to his right. And he's going to keep it here. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Off play action. Franks. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Pats, the wins keep coming as this one moves them to 12-3 and three on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Bills, their playoff hopes take a big hit as they fall to 8-7. and seven. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.